What's going on guys? It is me, the Lone Vault Wanderer, and I'm here with a Fallout 4 update. It's been a bit of a while, but that's only because the news has really started to die down. But there is something here that I can share with you. The only thing is that it's not really from Bethesda directly. It's not really any official news, official confirmation, which is a bit of a letdown. But what I think it is, it's a real indicator of how passionate Fallout fans are about the IP and about the series. And I think it's really nice to see, even though nothing is probably going to come from this, I think it's really nice to see that Fallout fans are still sticking by their, you know, their instincts and hoping that Fallout 4 is in production. Now, what I'm talking about is a change petition that has come up, I think, over the past day or two. And it, I think it's about 1,400 signatures at the moment, and they're aiming for about another, eight, uh, well, they're aiming for about 8,500 in total. And what they're pretty much saying is to, to Bethesda Softworks, please announce Fallout 4. Now, what I'll do, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check it out and perhaps sign for yourself. But I'm just going to read word for word the description that they have for this petition and why I think it's a, it's a really, it's a nice thing to see. Even though, in my personal opinion, nothing's going to come from it because no mere petition is going to sway a big company, a big publisher like Bethesda Softworks into, you know, announcing a game that for, you know, months and months and months, they are, you know, really not content on releasing any news on. As I've said in the past, when, when Fallout 4 news is going to come out is when Bethesda Softworks think it's appropriate. They're going to release news on their own terms. Nobody is going to sway them either way. And that's why the Survivor 2299 site was such a spectacular failure because what the website owner's intention was, was to sway Bethesda to say at VGX to release some sort of news at Fallout 4. Pretty much of Fallout 4 rather, to pretty much force their hand. And that never happened, Bethesda just said no, we're not doing anything, keep your tabs on the official pages for any particular pieces of news. And the only thing that we've gotten since then were those leaked casting call documents. But since then we've got nothing from Bethesda directly. And this is exactly why a petition like this has come up. Everybody is frustrated, you are, I am, every Fallout fan just wants something. We don't want a trailer, we don't want a big casting call document or whatever that was. What we want is just something from Bethesda directly that Fallout 4 is in production. We just want to be told. We don't care if the game is coming out in a year and a half or two years from now, so long as it's being made and we get some recognition of that fact. And I'm going to read the petition here, and that pretty much repeats what I've just said. So the petition starts by saying, look, I believe it's about time Bethesda gives us some hints on Fallout 4. After the Survivor hoax and the quote-unquote intentionally leaked Fallout 4 script documents on Kotaku, we need to know if Fallout 4 is being made and whether it would be set in Boston or not. We don't ask for much, just throw us a bone, tell us you're working on it. If you're thinking the same way that I do, please sign this petition, you can make a difference. It's up to you if we wait another year to get some news, or we get Bethesda's attention on this subject right now. You can raise awareness by sharing this with your friends, posting on your wall, anywhere you can think of really. The more we are, the more attention we will draw. So, I can see where this petition is coming from. I, I really can. You guys know me. I've been covering Fallout 4 news from the get-go, and everything that I've covered from day one has never been anything from Bethesda directly. It's always been some sort of rumor or speculation or misinterpretation of tweets, say like from Bit, uh, Three Dog or something. It's never been anything from Bethesda. So that's why we're all really frustrated about things. So people asking Bethesda to give us something so we have official confirmation from them because they've said as well, if you want any official news from their, you know, regarding their IP, their games, you keep it posted on their official pages. Well, let's have something for your official pages because Fallout fans are frustrated. We all really are just agitated and want some sort of news on Fallout 4. Whether I think this petition is going to be successful, highly doubt it. You're not going to, as I said before, you're not going to have a big company be swayed by a small petition on change.org. But I think it's really representative of the fact that Fallout 4 fans, or Fallout fans in general rather, 
have banded together for the first time in a long time. We were very dormant ever since, oh, up until the Survivor website was released. And since then, we've all been banding together, you know, interpreting Morse codes, reporting on the news, all of that. And we don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that camaraderie that has sprung up because of the Survivor website. So I can understand the mentality of the people behind this petition. As I said, it's not going to be successful, but it's really, really nice to see. So if you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description below. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video. My Fallout 3 Let's Play Episode 3 should be out either today or tomorrow. But until then, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself.